Hello. How are you? Your joke is important to us. Please remain on the line and your joke will be presented in the order of its goodness. Uh, I'm Jonathan Mangum. You're watching You Jokes. I am so glad to see everyone here. I see Shiana Shiana in the room. Sarah Ray Ray Johnson, Henrik Sjorgen, Olga Didier. Well, you're new. Welcome to the show. Andrew Boone, Alan Orschel, uh, Chabon, uh, Martin Jones, Kathleen Glavin. So many people here to play uh, You Jokes. I'm, I'm very glad you're here. Today's... You know, today's show is, is it's just not going to be good. It's going to be terrible. It's, this is not, this is not going to be a good show. I'm really bummed out that I'm, I'm here and that I just, I'm really, September Fool's Year. <laughs> uh, September's Fool's Year is a new thing I'm trying where every year during September, we celebrate how stupid and foolish 2020 was. It'll catch on. Try it. Uh, also, this is our 40th episode of the show. You heard me. 40. Yeah, we are. We're boomers now, you guys. We're boomers. So follow, like, share. Uh, please subscribe if you want this page. And then we'll help ruin the economy and complain why young people don't buy diamonds. That's a boomer joke. Also, if I can get to 2,000 subs on the YouTubes, I am singing a hoedown, y'all. So please subscribe if you're watching on the YouTube. Is this your first time? First time watching? Let me tell you all about the show. It's called You Jokes. It's a live comedy game show where professional funny people compete for the best joke based on a suggestion I give them. But you, the audience, get to play too. It's very easy. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, just type in your joke right there into the chat. And Josh, our producer, will do his best to pick out a good joke to go up against our professionals here. And then you, the audience, will decide the winner by sending in your mail-in ballots. September Fool's Year. Um, I see a bunch of people that are joining us. Hey, Craig in the UK, uh, Darren D, Patrick. I see Todd Prost, Frost. I almost called you Probst. Brandon, what's up, Brandon? Uh, so many people are here in Facebook and YouTube. I appreciate you guys coming along to play with us because these two people I've both known for a while and they are some of the funniest people I know in all of the Los Angeles area place. Uh, please welcome to the show, Karen Moriyama and Regan Burns. Hello. What is up? Uh, not much, man. Oh, I can't hear you, Regan. Oh, you're muted. Regan's muted. There you go. Just to clarify. Yeah. Are we the funniest people you've met in LA City, County, proper or area i wasn't it's, clear on it, it, truthfully it's between uh the northern part of the valley and altadena mm, okay. <laughs> so those are the boundaries for your funniness Ooh, i'm good with that karen you i'm good, <laughs> good. I, I could take a regional well, best funny person well, Mary, do you want to include regan that he didn't include as long as receipt is in there i'd hate uh, to think there's somebody in receipt of funnier than me uh, yeah. yeah so i Tom Dale, but, those guys are hilarious yeah it's, yeah. I'm not even going to touch them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, glad to see both of you guys. Regan, we have seen each other for years and years at, at auditions and stuff. And and one thing about you uh, that I love is that we, a while ago, when 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 pasty, doughy dudes like me um, had a midlife crisis and you had yours, you went full on health. You've been doing the Ironman contest and the lifting and the crossfitting and the training. And like you are like a ripped dude. Well, I had a dream of being a soap opera actor, Jonathan, like most people do yes. around the age of 40. Uh, and I thought, what better way to break into all my children than to start carrying really heavy shit up mountains? Yeah. But yeah, you know, I, I remember when Regan was younger, he was a gymnast as well. So, uh, yeah, yeah. did yeah. you do Groundlings too, Regan? I, I was a uh, Sunday company, and this beautiful, talented young woman was one of my many mentors. Yes. She, and she, he, he desperately tried to pull comedy out of me for quite yeah. some time. I, every time I saw him, I'd make him uh, do a stand where you, you sit with either your hands, you support your weight, you stick your legs out, mm -hmm. and he would do it. Well, yeah. maybe you'll, we'll get lucky and you can do that for the folks today uh, oh. after the jokes, yes. of course. Um, and Karen, I've known you for, for, for a while. And for a while. You, you have, is there a show on, like, I want to be conservative here. You've been on 20% of all TV shows. Was, is that pretty a conservative? <laughs> I'd say, you know, if you count several kid shows, all right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do, do you get, because I know people that, that aren't part of our industry go, oh, actors, you all get your residuals. And the truth is the residuals aren't really that much, but no. you must just get a stack 
of them all, like all the time. Well, I'll tell you this. I did go to the bank today, and I was really proud to say I had one for three cents, one for six ninety nine. Uh, one for 56 cents. And I think there was another one for 319 and I deposited them guys. All right. Yes, sir. That sounds like Carter country money right there. Carter country and Clarissa. Wings. Oh. Hello, Larry. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Superman, I could go on and on, but I don't want to date myself. <laughs> um, what are you guys up to? What do you, what do you, what have you been doing during, during this time? Regan, what about you? Well, there's no racing. There's no real auditioning. There's no real production. I've pretty much run the gamut with my family. I don't know about you, but I got nothing else to say or do with them. <laughs> yeah. um, We're out of stuff. Yard work. Wow. A lot of yard work. Yeah. You, you, do, you, you mulch in the side rips? I'm a, good, I'm a good destroyer. I'm a real good, like, let's just clear this area out. So I just pull stuff and break it. And then I go, we're going to pay somebody a lot of money to figure out what to do here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what yeah. about you, Karen? You know what? Luckily, I have pets. I do have an aging dog that is, you know, she's a little uh, sick, so I, she takes up most of my time. And then I have an obnoxious cat. So in a way, I guess I'm not alone. Is there any other kind of cat? <laughs> no. Okay. No. And so if he does start to make noise in the background, I apologize. Because he's right. right. This is going to be That's a real right. This is going to be a good contest because, uh, Regan, I know you're super sharp and fast. And, Karen, I know you. I mean, you've, you've been on the, the British and the American Who's Line, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm feeling – I don't know. Well, let's – Yeah, I, yeah warn I, was. You. I was. These audience members are really funny, too. They are I super know. I'm nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nervous. <laughs> she nervous. every time, John. It's a, it's a psych out. It's don't, don't fall for it. Uh, you know, Regan, seriously. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, My hands are real sweaty right now. Wait. M. Capiello wants to see the cat, but I guess the cat's not available. Oh, hang on. No, the cat's here. Hang on. You're going to get your wish. Capiello is going to get his wish. Does, it, does anyone want to see my drunk wife? Or no, we, that's probably we've not. Seen we've seen her. She she runs up and down uh, Venture. It's halfway Park. through a box of wine. We don't really want to. <laughs> We don't really want to do there that. There he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, oh you believe? Yes. Let's all let yes. John, guess what the cat's name is. Let's see who gets closer. Mary. Yeah, you. come on. Uh, Noodle Farms. Noodle Farm. Yeah. I'm gonna say Mistopheles. I bet no. you. Know. His no. name's Henry. 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 That's Henry. it. I woke him up, so he's probably gonna be good. Maybe Karen's <laughs> not gonna be good at this game. <laughs> well, he just kind of. You know, <laughs> is the wife also a cat? Is your wife a cat, Regan? Jamie wants well, to know. Well, and insert your own pussy joke here. There you oh, go. Oh, good way to start. So, let's start off our first round of uh -oh. you jokes yeah, tonight. Our game is called okay. Super Villain. Super Villain. I'm going to show you a picture of a villain, and you tell me what is their super villain name. And here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. What is this supervillain's name? Do you have a joke? Type it into the Facebook or the YouTube chat right now. Type in your joke, the name of this supervillain, and we will pull one out from you guys. We're going to start off now with Karen, starting with you first. Karen, what okay. is the name? Uh, okay, this is the evil baby mama. She uh, she <laughs> sues professional athletes for child support, and by day, she's a surrogate lawyer. <laughs> nice. Well, that. I like it. Okay. Regan, who is a supervillain? Well, I hope everyone's looking forward to the Suicide Squad reboot because that's Harley Quinn Tuplets. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice one. Nice one. Yeah, uh, Ronaldo's got some strong sperm. Whoa, what? Say it again? I said that Ronaldo's got some strong sperm. And, and, and uh -huh. messy, too. Mm. Ronaldo's got some messy stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's another soccer reference. Yeah, uh, Josh, right. one out of the audience. See who's going up against these two. It's going to be Heather Waltz, soccer mom. Oh, so, literally, it is literally. Yes, yeah. that is actually what that it, is. That's yes, I like soccer mom. Now, is that is, did she paint her belly? That I wonder. I oh think, no, because that's yeah. I don't. It doesn't look photoshopped at all, Regan. <laughs> I believe it's a costume. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. You know what? I thought right. this could be like um, a reject costume for Barbarella. 
All right. <laughs> like if Jane were pregnant. I like it. It's an old movie, guys. It's an old movie. No, well, we're with you. Duran Duran, we're with you. Okay, we'll gotcha. We'll be posting uh, in the YouTube chat all of the references that Karen lists that you could go back <laughs> with, with there. So, uh, you get to vote now, folks. Was it K for Karen? Was it R for Regan? Was it A for audience? K for Karen, R for Regan, A for audience. Vote now. Josh will do his eyeball vote. Not an official tally, but a tally nonetheless. Um, I don't, you know, I don't know what this supervillain's name actually is, but I do know that all you do is you can't touch her with your hands. That is what uh, I Oh, yeah. What you did there. See? Well, so, well, well. Josh, who won the first round of You Jokes? Karen. Yeah. I agree. I concur. The teacher concur. has beat the student, Regan. <laughs> I told you. I've, I've, uh, I've been down uh, this path before. You don't, hold your, you don't hold your own with a great one. Martin Jones issues a yellow card to you for that. <laughs> Moving on to the next round. This next game is called Caption This. Caption This, I'm going to show you a picture. That's what I do. You come up with the caption for it. What is the caption for this picture? And here we go. <laughs> that is kind of creepy. What... Is this caption it for us? Type your caption into the Facebook or the YouTube chat right now. Just type it in. And Josh will do his best to pull one out. We started with Karen last round. So that means we're going to start with Regan this round. Regan, capture this. Uh, it, it was five minutes into the photo shoot that Ricky J finally realized that wasn't a selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me his name again. What did I say? Ricky Bob? Ricky J? Ricky J. Like Ricky that's J. that's worth extra points. That, sounds, <laughs> that looks like a Ricky J. Karen? Um, it's, I don't know why she's so happy that we're pregnant. The baby has a 50% chance of coming out of ginger. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Or, if they were in China, it'd be, oh no, this is the second time. We could go to prison for life. Oh, no. <laughs> International politics finds its way into the you jokes. I love it. Uh, Josh, go to the audience. Go to the audience and see what they've got. Caption this audience. Ben Pack, we are pregnant. Just kidding. September. Oh, it's a show back. Who went around? We're going to go back to the show opening, Jonathan. Brilliant. Thank you, Ben, for the callback. Uh, time to vote. Was it R for Regan? Was it K for Karen? Was it A for audience? Vote now. R for Regan. K for Karen. A for audience. I actually think that this is a, a, a it's a new product they're selling called the Pooper Truther. It's an anal device to prove to your white trash husband that despite what the aliens did on the UFO, his butthole is not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> September Fool's year. His butthole is pregnant. His Josh. Butthole. It's a runner. <laughs> yeah. Josh, who won round two of You Jokes? The winner is the audience. Ooh. Well done. Well done, people of Earth. That callback got, got Ben some points. Is your audience all from Reseda? Because oh. as long as I'm funnier than them. <laughs> They're all from Reseda. Okay. And Pacoima. Y'all ready for another game? Here we go. Oh. This one's called Finish the Lyric, finish the lyric. I'm going to give you a lyric, and you just have to finish it. Finish the lyric. The lyric is, on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. I'm not familiar with it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you are. You're pretty sure you are. You got to be. Uh, type it in down to the Facebook or the YouTube chat. Uh, on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. We're starting off down there with Karen. Karen, finish this lyric. Uh. Do I have to sing the first part and then finish it? Hello. Like on a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. Uh, my my acid is already kicked in, and it, uh, the clouds are dancing like Fred Astaire. Oh, <laughs> so much better than the original. Yeah, that might have been the original. They might have changed Ooh, it. I need to commit. I had to commit to that. I didn't, guys. Sorry. It's it's good. It's good. <laughs> Regan. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. My favorite character was Cletus, a Dukes of Hazard reference, beware. 
Oh, yes. I believe they said I, that might be the actual real lyric. Yeah. The Dukes of Hazard had a spinoff show, and it was mm-hmm. called Cletus. And remember, Cletus. that was the uh, his handshake. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, oh, yeah. He was Roscoe's nephew, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, nothing's also... going to get your viewership up quicker than Dukes of Hazard chat. Yeah, it's the the young people are loving the uh, the retro vibe. Uh, <laughs> Josh, pull it out from the audience. On a dark desert highway, cool wind in my hair. A trucker says, "Hop in to my greasy chair." From uh, Kent Maddock. Yeah. It's like a hip hiker thing now. I like that. I like that greasy chair. It makes me. It tells the story of something happened in that chair that you don't. It, yeah, it paints a picture. Yeah, it does. A greasy picture. Have you ever hitchhiked, either one of you guys? Have you ever? Done that? You? No. no. Look at me. Who would pick <laughs> me up? You haven't? No. No one would pick me up. Have a guy flash me in his car when I was in ninth grade? Yeah. Fla- how do you? Fla- how does a guy flash you? I mean, does he have to well, like they, get they up? They ask for directions and then they, you know. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 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 That and? is hot. Ooh. Let's. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, Josh, who? Wait. Have you, you haven't voted yet, have we? No. Have we voted? No. Vote now. Was it R for Regan, K for Karen, or A for audience? R for Regan, K for Karen, A for audience. I think the song should go on a dark desert highway, yeah. cool wind in my hair. Unless I'm Colin Mockery, there's no hair there. Sorry, Colin. Even when you're not here, we're going to make fun of you. Uh, type in your vote now. Type in your vote now. And Josh will do his eyeball and declare a winner. Regan is at Are zero. you singing to yourself, one. Karen? Hmm? Is Karen singing to herself? Were you mm-hmm. just singing to yourself? Who are you singing, okay. Karen? <laughs> I was singing the Colin Mockery lyrics. <laughs> uh, Josh, tell us who won that round. Regan! Oh, oh, Duke the Hazard reference. Who would have thought, huh, John? <laughs> who would have thought? Uh, this is this... one of my cats. Oh, what's his name? Aww. That's Professor. Professor. Chase, yeah, go, go away. I'm going to bring my dog in here uh, as yeah. I explain the next game. The next game is called What's the Oh, Chase left, so I have to play the. There's the music. What's this a commercial for? What's this a commercial for? I'm going to show you a picture of a thing. You tell me what is, is a commercial for. And here we go. <laughs> what is this a commercial for? Type in your joke now if you got one into the Facebook or the YouTube chat. What is this a commercial for? My son is carrying a 60 pound dog. Uh, type it in out of the Facebook or YouTube chat. Here we go. Okay. This is this is Clarissa. Oh. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay. She's like, what did I do? Why am you I being the, punished? You win the pet off, John. Yeah. Okay. She's, oh, she's pooping. There we go. Great. Uh, what's this a commercial for? We're going to start off with Regan. What is this a commercial for? Uh, John, the at-home COVID test swab is still in the phase one trials. <laughs> oh, man. That looks like the most painful of all of the COVID tests. <laughs> I had one uh, yesterday. Oh. And it hurts. Which one is with the deep nose one? Yeah, yeah. And I just want to, I said, what is the difference between the snot in the front of my sinus cavity and the one in the back of my brain as she was twisting it? Oh, not fun. oh. Yeah, not uh, fun. Karen, what is this a commercial for? Okay. This is, um, this is a lip clip and it's made by Carrot Top. So if you want to look like him, you just follow the directions and it happens. Lip clip. I like it. Lip clip. Lip clip also available in lip clip. Carrot Top lip clip. <laughs> Carrot Top, Nip Clip, going to the audience. What is this a commercial for? Josh, pull one out for us. This one comes from Layden Sumelch, Sumek, oh, yeah. a really big pimple popper. Oh, gross. Laden. Yeah. Laden. Sorry, I called you Layden. Have that you guys is... seen that show, the pimple popper show? Have you? Yes. That it... is, what has happened to, to society, Karen? I don't know. Is now? Did you ask me because she happens to be Asian? This pimple popper. <laughs> no, um, you could have been of any origin. She popped pimple. <laughs> I don't what know. Asian. I don't know. Oh. But yeah, don't you're have a pop. You, I would trust her. Yeah. Do, do not do not search YouTube for pimple pop, or you you won't eat for a week. It's the worst. 
<laughs> don't watch that, don't I, watch that show then. That and that show about feet. I can't look at pe people's feet close what, up. What's the feet one? Suddenly John and I are very intrigued. It's a it's a show about feet prop, like <laughs> about gnarly feet. Oh, no. And there are these two podiatrists that find the worst like feet cases. I just oh. gave myself a foot cramp by you, you, have, you, have really nice, you have pretty nice feet though, John. Thanks, man. That's what you said last time. And I did get the request and I put them in the mail. So well, as long as they're Polaroids, I'm old school. Hey, PayPal, <laughs> PayPal. Uh, Josh, what do we got here from the audience? The audience. Karen wins. <laughs> I'm going to sing my Colin Mockery song. Colin <laughs> Mockery's hair. All right, guys. It's two. Karen, Regan, you got one. And the audience has one. So this could be the deciding. But before we do that, we're going to do a little thing that we call Last Show's Best. Last Show's Best. What this is, is that most people don't actually watch this live. People watch it later after the fact. We want you to still be able to play. So if you're watching this and it's not live, Still type in your joke, Facebook or YouTube chat. We're going to go and read all of the jokes, pull out the best one, and then we invite that person on to the next episode to play in the final round. Last week's winner, please welcome Kyle Jacobson. Kyle Jacobson. Oh, he's, got, he's got green screen. Is this going to change? Is your background going to change, Kyle? No, unfortunately, my fourth wall is broken. Oh. <laughs> Kyle, where are you from? Um, I'm out of Loveland, Colorado. Cool. What do you do out there? Uh, I am a marketing director for a heated apparel company. Heating apparel? Like, yeah, we do like heated jackets and socks, like battery powered heat. Battery powered socks? Yeah, hats, wow. gloves, pants. We keep you warm. Uh, are, you, are you wearing heated pants right now, Kyle? Oh, always. <laughs> I'm really excited for when we come out with heated underwear. That's that's kind yes. of where I'm at. Yeah. Woo. Uh, well, welcome to the show, man. Um, you played last week, and we were playing a game that was called uh, Name the Movie, and here was the picture for it, right there. And you called it the following: Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> So you get to play in the final round. Now, I understand that you have, have a podcast that, that you do, Kyle. Tell us about it. I do. If any of you are into improvised podcasts, I do one called Orbital Echoes, where I interview people a thousand years in the future on the space station Atlantis. So, oh, wow. Where, where Orbital can we, Echoes. Where uh, can we Spotify. Find so Spotify, Stitcher, anywhere you get podcasts, you can find it. Most just, to clarify, just to clarify, marijuana is legal in Colorado now. <laughs> it, it is. And, and in Denver. Uh, mushrooms are decriminalized, so yeah. we're making well, that, even more that progress. Explains, so. That explains a lot, Kyle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kyle, you're joining us for this final round of play. Good luck to you, sir, because this final game is called Inspirational Poster. Inspirational Poster. I will show you a poster, and you tell me what would this inspirational poster say. And here we go. <laughs> right there. What would this inspirational poster say? I do have to say these episodes of To Catch a Predator are getting weirder and weirder. It's, it's hard to understand what's happening here. Uh, type in your joke right now into the Facebook or the YouTube chat what you think this inspirational poster would say, and we will pick out the best that we can find. We're going to start off now with our winner from last week, Kyle. Kyle, what would this inspirational poster say? Uh, this one is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, mm -hmm. I have it hanging in my room. It's uh, single parenting is really hard, even for lions. Oh, oh, oh. Dude. It just gets you right here, man. It gets you right there. Uh, <laughs> good one, man. Moving up the ladder here. Karen, you're now in the lead. Will you keep the lead? What does this inspirational poster say? Um, it says, um, uh, reach for the stars. If you miss, you can always try bestiality. <laughs> <laughs> No, I like I like it. I like it. Oh no, it was just it was just a uh, it was shocking, Karen. It was shocking. <laughs> Sorry, shocking is good in a joke. It show. shouldn't be if you know Karen. It really should. <laughs> right. Well, again, I have two pets at home. Just, no, no. Ooh, that was awful. Okay, good. I didn't expect I know, it. No, but... no, that was not even. That isn't even. It's not even. It's. Okay. <laughs> Can we bring our pets back in? Is this yeah. a good time? <laughs> That'll <laughs> save the show. No, actually, we don't want Karen's pet anywhere no. near her. Yeah. Can you, is there any way to save Karen's cat? Yeah, someone please go to her house. Stop it. We know what's going on. Oh. <laughs> Regan, what does his inspirational poster say? Isn't it about time to channel 
your inner Carol Baskin. Yes. Yes. Well done. Touche. Uh, let's go to the audience. Josh, who we got from the audience, Jordan close kids. It's what's for dinner. Yeah. Jordan. That's a great one, man. Good job. Great one. Great one. It's time wow. to vote. Type in, let's see. We're going to do J for Kyle Jacobson, J for Mr. Jacobson, K for Karen, R for Regan, A for audience. That's J for Kyle Jacobson, K for Karen, R for Regan, A for audience. While you're voting, I'm going to tell you that maybe you're watching this after the fact. Maybe you want to be a part of the next live show. Well, you can. No one's stopping you. You just have to go to youtube.com forward slash you jokes or facebook.com forward slash the mangum. Our next show will be Tuesday. Nope. Tuesday is today, Friday, September 4th. Friday, September 4th. Wow. 6 p.m., 9 Eastern for our next episode of You Jokes. Come back and play and win and then meet people and make jokes on the internet for people. That's what we do. Thank you, Kyle, for your joke. Karen, Regan, it's all down to this. Josh, who well, the audience won. They are no bad. That that was a good that was a good round. That was actually a really good joke from our audience. I want to uh, say I had such a great time today. I mean, not only is this give me something to do uh, during the week, but I also yeah. get to see people that I've known for years that I love that are funny. Uh, Regan, where can people follow you on the Twitter or the Instagram or anything like that? Uh, Regan Burns on Facebook and Regan dot Burns on Instagram. And I'm out there. I'm tonight. I'm heading up to Colorado to watch Kyle DJ in his closet. And, uh, I got some, I got some big stuff coming up. <laughs> and Karen, how about you? Uh, you know what? I don't use it that often. I think it's kind of like at Karen Moriyama, my name. Isn't that awful? I mean, you guys, I'm sh Oh my God. My, I'm, sh it's like my ineptitude is showing right now. No, I don't no, even no. remember. I love your I loved your post about how Hurt Locker won the Oscar. Uh huh. <laughs> Touche. Touche. Aaron, self addressed stamp envelope. And answer. And Kyle, thank you, sir, for joining us. Good luck thank with you. your podcast. I'm watch Kyle. I put I wrote it down. Orbital yes, awesome. echoes. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, and everyone, thanks for joining us again for our 40th episode. This was a lot of fun. We'll see you on the next. You jokes. Bye.